I should like someone to remember that there once lived a person named David Berger. I am 20 years old. Why are they going to destroy us when everything within me yearns for life? These are the final words that I will write to you, for I am to be shot tomorrow morning at dawn. These are the voices of the murdered, three of the six million Jews whose lives were cut short by the Germans and their collaborators, who wanted not only to destroy them, but to obliterate their very memory. For over six decades, Yad Vashem has dedicated itself to gathering their names, piecing together the lost tapestry of the Jewish people. We have embarked on a vital mission, using new, innovative approaches to uncover the names of those who have no one to remember them. Peter was a pretty child, dark blonde with blue eyes, always merry. As a boy, Peter was very creative, always active, always inventing things. I remember him sitting at home at his table and drawing something or writing something. Peter was very much interested in space, in galaxies and universe. He even drew drawings from spaceships, which was quite unusual at these times. The last time I saw him was in Terezin, before he was taken to Auschwitz. He was 14 years old. I was hoping to the last minute that the train will not come. I saw him on the train, he came to the window, and I gave him a piece of bread for the journey. He took my hand, and it was the last time I saw him. Peter is among the 4,200,000 names of Holocaust victims recovered thus far. Half of them were collected from millions of pages of testimony of Holocaust survivors, family, neighbors, and friends of those who were murdered. Each page adds a name, and another name, who they were, where they came from, where they died. People have submitted information in over 20 languages, mostly handwritten. We had to develop sophisticated search and retrieval tools to enable our experts to examine the data, to look for nicknames and related names, and to cross-reference the information. All this in order to make the information understandable and accessible to everyone who is interested in looking for information today. Over two million more names were collected due to extraordinary and complex detective work. Over the years, Yad Vashem researchers and historians have studied tens of millions of documents from the Holocaust era. They have examined them, gleaning name after name of individuals, families, and sometimes entire communities that have been destroyed. Over four million names have now been memorialized in this extraordinary book of names, now on display at the new permanent Jewish exhibition, Shoah, at the Auschwitz-Birkenau State Museum the only book of its kind in the world, it is a monumental work with 58 volumes, 140 pages per volume. A beam of light shines out from the binding, illuminating the names, highlighting all that was lost. I don't have even one picture of my dad. His name was Shmuel Hirsch, and he was a tailor. His workshop was at home. People came to order a clothes, only special for men. So he was working all day to get the money. And my mother was also uh, working with him. He loved the family. We have been almost all the time together. He was a very good man, good father. I loved him and I love him until today. The last time I saw him, when the German took all the people out of the houses, then they took all the men to the market, and then they sent them to the camp. And since then, I haven't seen any more of my father. I miss my father every day. There is no one day that I don't think about him. I didn't say Kaddish all my life. 
Because I didn't see my father dead, I hope that he's still alive. I know it's not reasonable that he will be today alive. I am 85 years, but I still hope. Six million Jews were murdered in the Holocaust. Nearly two million remain anonymous. Yet efforts continue around the clock and across the world to fill these empty pages where they will be forever remembered. We will not rest until our mission is complete. Mm-hmm.